listening to GCN, the world leader in independent talk radio. I'm a one-man revolution. The time is nigh. The day is dark. There's only one solution. Because I'm a one-man We are live, April 20th, 2009, and uh, probably have the biggest story of the week breaking right in front of me. Tell your friends, this is a huge, 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 huge story. FEMA is going to be holding a national level exercise 2009, and uh, this is really going to coincide with the DHS document that we talked about, and really these Virginia Fusion Center documents, because... It is, and let me, let me just tell you what the exercise focus is, NLE-09. Remember, there are no FEMA camps. There are no plans to go after American citizens, right, Glenn Beck? I mean, here is yet another document, and really a uh, just another example how they love to exercise what they, they're going to carry out. Here we go. NLE-09. 09 will focus on intelligence and information sharing among intelligence and law enforcement communities and between international, federal, regional, state, tribal, local, and private sector participants. This is exactly what they talk about in these Fusion Center documents in the MIAC report. Remember the MIAC report? It was going to go to all these same kind of agencies. Do you understand? Now they're going to drill it on a massive level with literally thousands of participants. And this is going to take place, I believe, in late July. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Here we go. The NLE-09 scenario will begin in the aftermath of a notional terrorist event outside of the United States. An exercise play will center on preventing subsequent efforts by the, the terrorists to enter the United States and carry out additional attacks. Now, if you've ever listened to what I said... I, I've always stated it will be hard for them to carry out another false flag terror attack in this country. Too many people woke up to 9-11, okay? That's just the facts. Too many people got what was going on. And now we're, we're talking about them drilling something after a terrorist event somewhere else so the terrorists don't infiltrate here. This scenario enables participating senior officials to focus on issues related to preventing terrorist events domestically and protecting U.S. critical infrastructure. Remember, everybody's a terrorist, veterans, DHS document, uh, people who support Ron Paul, Bob Barr, extremists, terrorists. They're, again, they're blurring the language here. And uh, I, let me read the communities again. Focus on intelligence and information sharing among intelligence and law enforcement communities and, and between international, that's international, that's UN, NATO type bodies. Do you understand? Do you get it? Federal, that's NSA, CIA, FBI. Are you getting it? Regional, regional, that's your state trooper, your county commissioner. Okay? Tribal. I don't even, I, I gotta tell you, I really don't know what tribal means. I mean, it, that's some jackassery right there, but apparently there's some tribal institutions that are gonna be informed. I don't, I don't even, does that mean they've got the Indians? They, they've bought them out too? Uh, tribal? Really? Local. In other words, who are your uh, county justices? Who are the judges around? Who's your sheriff? And private sector participants. That's the Blackwater types. That's the local uh, energy sources. You know? I mean, this is just nuts. This is on another level, folks. NLE-09 will allow terrorism prevention efforts to proceed to a logical end, successful or not. <gasps> and you know they're not going to be successful, folks. They're going to say, we need more funding. We just couldn't do it. All. We couldn't quarantine everybody. We failed. Give us more funding. With no requirement for response or recovery activities, NLE-09 will be an operations-based exercise to include... Activities taking place at command posts, emergency operation centers, intelligence centers, and potential field locations, a.k.a. FEMA camps, that are makeshift. Remember, a lot of these facilities aren't just snap like that, ready for human detention, but they can be put that way in literally hours. 
It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmis. We'll be back after this. Big story, National Lever Exercise 2009 FEMA time. It's a top-off drill. You know, Alex Jones has been warning about this type of thing for years, but this one is the first of its kind, the first ever national level exercise ever. FEMA, national level, level exercise, let me just read you from the top. 2009 is scheduled for July 27th through July 31st, 2009. MLE 09 will be the first, let me say it again, the first major exercise conducted by the United States government, repeat, will be the first major exercise conducted by the United States government that will focus exclusively on terrorism prevention and protection as opposed to incident response and recovery. So do you understand? Do you get it? This is it. They're going to be sharing intelligence information, counterterrorism investigation. We're the terrorists. They're using all the organizations possible. This is the international intelligence organization in your face. It is the invisible empire coming home to roost. This is it. Mark my words. All right. I mean, give me a break. You know, they, they have this big debunking of the FEMA camps with uh, Glenn Beck and his butt buddy there, Megs, you know, patting each other on the back. Oh, I love you, too, Jim. <laughs> oh, they, there's like 600 plus of these facilities. Uh, Glenn, we went to one and uh, we debunked it. <laughs> we, we showed a uh, satellite photo. I mean, about as piss poor a debunking as humanly possible in 20 minutes. If you gave me five minutes on television live with either one of those stooges, I would pick them apart. Oh, there are so many things that have to happen. And that's why FEMA is heading up this new exercise, the first of its kind. Let's just go through the whole thing. It's only about two pages long. I read the first paragraph already. We'll have to repeat some of this because it's just, it's so damning. This this totally coincides with the Virginia Terrorism Threat Assessment document and the MIAC report and the DHS document. And when we make a big enough deal about this story, which we will, I promise you, it will be in the mainstream media in Fox before it happens. Who knows? They might actually have to change the name of the exercise or the dates or the locations. We'll see what happens. It's so far off in the future. <sighs> NLE 09 is designated as a Tier 1 national level exercise. Tier 1 exercises, formerly known as uh, Top Officials Exercises Series, or Top-Off Drills, again, Alex Jones has been talking about Top-Off Drills for years, are conducted annually in accordance with the National Exercise Program, which serves as the nation's overarching exercise program for planning, organizing, conducting, and evaluating national-level exercises. The NEP was established to provide the U.S. government at all levels Exercise opportunities to prepare for catastrophic crises ranging from terrorism to natural disasters. Just like on 9-11 when you're running mass hijacking drills. Just like on 9-11 when you got these terrorist threats all over the place. I mean, when, just like on 9-11 when the CIA is running a drill of, of ramming a plane into a building. Just like that out of the National Reconnaissance Office. Is that what you do? That's definitely part of it, folks. It's not all of it, obviously. Obviously, we have to prepare our troops. But when you're preparing... Not only troops, because this is not a troops program. This is an exercise for everybody. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to the next. I mean, here it is. It's in this paragraph. It's for it. It's, they want it all. This is, this is the fusion center. This is the nexus of all organizations they can possibly get their little tyrant hands on. NLE 09 is a White House directed, congressionally mandated exercise that includes the participation of all appropriate federal department and agency senior officials, their deputies, staff, and key operational elements. In addition, broad regional participation of state, tribal, local, and private sector is anticipated. This year, the United States welcomes the participation of Australia, Canada, Mexico, and the United Kingdom. In LAE 09. But it's not about a new world order. They announce it's about a new world order. They say it's an emerging new world order. It's a global system. 
They just came out with special drawing rights units. See, they shouldn't be called SDRs. They should be SDRUs. So people understand at the end that's a unit. That means it's a form of currency. It's a global currency. It actually happened. I didn't think that was coming for a long time. They're just disguising the name, SDR. Oh, SDR. People want to sound hip. Oh, you hear about the new SDRs? They have no idea what it means. Special drawing rights units. We have a global banking system now. We have a global government that is coming into play. And that is why we are running FEMA drills, FEMA drills with Australia, Canada, Mexico, and the United Kingdom. I mean, is anybody out there listening? I know I got a few thousand of you listening on the uh, on the web, maybe four. I, we were breaking some records earlier. But, I mean, is, is this not important enough that tens of thousands of people need to know they're preparing for this? All right, let me just keep going. Exercise focus. NLE09 will focus on intelligence and information sharing among intelligence and law enforcement communities.